little bit pokey that last jam. I little probably stopped on and too many extra distortion pedals, but oh! oh. Again, again, oh, again. It's happening again, Lee. It's happening again. Welcome back to the channel. I'm uh, Pete. This is, I'm just, Pete. I'm this Pete. This is I'm literally, Pete. this is where you basically just go, do I actually get paid to do this? Yes, I do. Thank yeah. you so much. Um, that's why they pay me. <laughs> well, that's why. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is just where basically Pete and I, you know, part of the job when we're not uh, doing videos is to um, spec kind of cool guitars up oh. with brands like Fender and Gibson, but more probably Fender historically, but Gibson soon. Oh yes. Um, yes and other yes. brands like Hanson and things like that. Yeah. And then like every so often you go, should we just see what's arrived and... Yeah, it is, it is a, what's arrived. Yeah. In, from the Fender custom shop yeah. <laughs> this week. So, some of it are models you've seen us do before, but perhaps it's turned up in a different color. Um, in yeah. fact, pretty much all of this is models you've seen us do before, but they've turned up in new colors. Well, oh my God, um, I can smell. Oh, oh hey, it's I just a good excuse. <laughs> now, you know what, here's an interesting one. Yeah. This morning, and I'm not gonna name names here, but, but this morning, <laughs> uh, Pete said, oh, I've been sent this guitar by a builder. Uh, not terribly well-known builder, but you know, reasonably well-known. And he's like, try, 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 try. And I picked this out and it's pretty expensive. And I, and I just sort of, I'm a bit like, it is a copy of a, of a Fender style guitar. And, I, and I'm just like, why would you buy that and not just buy, you know, for, buy from and, the, and it, and it is it, literally, and, I, and I, I just went, let me just go and get like one of the custom shop. And it is just like, nobody does this better but that's nobody does Fender. a Mercedes better than a Mercedes, Mercedes. But somebody does a that nobody does a BMW, but they do something that looks a bit like it. Wow. <laughs> anyway, hey, where did that go? So look. Yeah. Okay. So we have got uh, and to be six guitars here. Uh, you want to tell them what you've got? I'll well, tell them what I've got. And okay. So we rock did the roll. yeah. So we got we did the we did the sixty four. Do you know um, what? I'm going to interrupt you massively there. Okay, that's fine. Because I interrupt you all the time. What I'm, what we're going to do is we'll start where it all began with our custom shop specking. Because that, that, actually, this will just make more sense. Yeah. So Pete's purple Telecaster. Do you want me to get it? I think you should get the purple I'll Telecaster. Get it. I'll go um, and get it. Whilst he's away, I, I will talk you through. Pete's purple Telecaster started um, this. Uh, the, this whole process of, of us going to Fender going, you know, we, 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 we want to do our own spec guitars. There's something about this purple Telecaster. It was a limited edition uh, for a music fair called the Frankfurt Music Fair in 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, we bought this second hand from a, from a customer that had obviously bought it from new. Um, and Pete bought it. And well, it's, well, that's true. There's a whole other story about that. Oh, so sorry. Pete ended up with it. And Every time we went back to this Telecaster, we went, I have never played another Telecaster quite as good as this one. There's yep. got to be something about it. So we went back to the custom shop. We did some different revisions of this. We worked it out um, and we nailed it down to two Telecasters that we do that are effectively that guitar in, you know, reproduced. One is a probably a more authentic no caster 51 style no caster guitar with the the, the neck on it so we call that chunky. large u a yep. little bit chunkier than that funnily enough that was the first revision that, that we did of this guitar and we really really liked it, it and we just went oh people will love this guitar. And people did love that guitar but it for some reason it has a slightly fatter neck on it than that yeah so then we went back to fender and we did another variant which we now call the large c which is near as damn it that guitar yeah it's closer and now and then what we've done ever since then is we've run effectively our kind of repro of that guitar either with a large u or a large c neck and you can choose um if you like all like this all super light ash all <laughs> yeah. heavy relic all with the same twisted telly no caster pickup set um no no uh stickers though they yeah are after and all we've done is we just run it in uh, different colors and different combinations of colors and pick guards so you can buy it in the purple with the parchment guard if you want it um you, we've done it in lake placid blues with tortoiseshell guards we've done it in candy reds we've done it in um teal green metallics we've done it with gold guards that's that's the one over there yeah well um to that. we've done them now in double bound variants We've done a thin line variant of that, which was in the last video, which was so flipping good. Yeah, the thin line was great. Um, we've, we've done them. Um, so, well, hang on. So let me. So yeah. this is the this is 
the the latest color now you may be sitting there going oh so you've done a black one whoop de do uh, everybody not on my a very Instagram exciting one, color the black one looks great <laughs> except of course this isn't black this is my absolute favorite favorite color that fender have introduced in the last year which is texas tea so we'll hopefully get some nice sweeps and the, so the texas tea when you get this in the right light has got a kind of a brownie gold metallic um fleck to it um and we've done it with the anodized silver pick guard so absolutely like you would get on the ultra yeah like um, a texas color tea combination ultra. Uh, but everything else is the same as Pete's purple telly. So we've got the large C neck, we've got the um, twisted no telly and no so, caster yeah. set, the vintage tuners, all the relicking is, um, I mean, no two relic guitars are exactly the same, but we, we try to get the neck relicking relatively consistent because you just pick these up and go, yes, thank you very much. I'll take it. <laughs> um, and absolutely, again, please, please, please. If you don't like relic guitars, that's great. And your opinion is completely valid. Yeah. But please don't tell someone that does like relic guitars that they're wrong because their opinion's just as valid as yours and it's completely subjective yeah. and completely pointless to argue about it. Mac and, and PC, man. And Nobody I'm cares. I'm so bored of reading comments yeah. from people going, <laughs> relics aren't, you shouldn't buy a relic. It's, it's like, please, you, you can buy whatever you like. Yeah. <laughs> if fine. you don't like relics, buy something else know, that is not relics. It's literally like trying to argue with someone that the colour that they like hey, better than your colour hey, is. Lee, you know. Hey, Lee, would you buy a car that was completely meshed up? It's not, it's the, not same. the same. It's not the, it's same. Not the same. It's not the same. It's literally like going, <laughs> would I buy... If I've got a pair of slippers and I've had them for a year and they're way comfier after a year and then I lose those slippers, what I'd kind of like to buy is my worn-in pair of slippers hey, again. Hey, that's, that's, that's such it's, a good it's kind analogy. Of, but look, but if you don't want to do that, and yeah. you want to go and buy a new pair of slippers and wear yeah. them in again, that's totally cool as well. Hey, man, I'm like, I, I hate iPhones. I'm just, Apple guys. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, look, so let's Actually, give you some tones. I have a uh, <laughs> plain guitar. There's Holy something Moses. mental about this bridge pickup that it's so usable compared to, you know, when I grew up, I always, the Telecaster bridge pickup for me was like, avoid, avoid, because it's just too yeah. ice picky. But there's some, that's you, that's a great fat tone, but with the the, 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 the brightness and the, the spank to kind of keep it telly. Spank and the brightness and spank. And then the, the neck is just. Um, I mean, I, but they sound so I sit good. and play, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm loving the whole kind of, I'm a bit into this whole reverb over reverb. That's a reverb pedal going into them. Is that if you reverb. list something on reverb and then take that listing and then list that on reverb again? The difference but is for, now when you, it, when you're, this though, reverb on reverb, this is one and a half percent more expensive than it was yesterday. We could have reverb on reverb on reverb. I've got two reverb pedals on my board. So that's another one and a half percent. Yeah, that's that's in another year's time when it goes that's up to another six half and a half. Percent. So, <laughs> honestly, these good. guitars, uh, I mean, there must be 30 or 40 people now who over the last couple of years have bought one of these sort of, you know, repros that we do in all the different colors like that. I, I, go and, I, I don't know how you would reach out to those people. See if you can find people on owners clubs or whatever, or maybe watching this video who've bought one and just go, is it not your favorite guitar? I bet you it is. So that's this Texas T oh, that's the, that's, uh, yeah. silver plate. Can I, shall I, shall I tell them, that, shall, shall I tell them what I'm, I've ordered? That I'm no, probably, you shouldn't. No, okay. No. I'm not going to tell you that. No. Fine. That's no. a surprise. A surprise. So Pete, now yes. that, so that was the first one that we did. Actually, to be honest with you, I've got the second one that we did as well. 
So... Yeah, but that's fine. So you've got... So now we've got the other way around. So this is the 64 um, that we... It's not the second one we did, was it? It's the, the, that we, this, uh, this, this one is the yeah. next one that we did. Okay, do you want to do the next All one right. first? Okay, so okay. Chrono chronologically... Chronologically. Chronologically, one of the things that oh, we were... That. We wanted to do a... <laughs> We wanted to do a Strat. Now, really, uh, I don't own a vintage Strat. Well, I've got a 54 custom shop, but it's not a, a vintage Strat. And Pete had this 64 Strat, and it wasn't, we weren't really focused on that yet. This was this was almost like a, what if you could just have your dream A really strat. cool Strat. And we were trying to describe to Fender a neck profile that was like a little bit fatter than, um, like a, a slim 60s type profile, but but not necessarily going into that giganto 56, 56 54, 56, 57 kind of the shape. Yeah, thing. not so. We ended up talking to someone who'd been at the custom shop for a long, long time, and they and they were just like, "Well, there was this John English neck carve that he just did, like as his. It doesn't have like a catalogue number. It was just known as the John English yeah. thing." Anyway, we're like, well, let me, send us one of those then. We'll try it like that. And and that was like, that's... That was the one. That's the one. It's right so in the middle. So we ended up, these, we call these a 59 Strat because it's kind of that transition where you've gone over, you've first seen Rosewood boards mm -hmm. on, on Strat Next. But it's this John English neck carve. Um, we do them again, super light ash. These weigh literally, these like some of the lightest Strats you'll ever play. Fly away. Um, all the weights, by the way, are on our website. You know, if we've got these in stock when you're shopping, you'll physically choose the photograph and the weight of the one that you want in the yep. cart. Or come to the store, check them out. It's up to you. You have to order um, them in, though, to check them out at the moment. Just yes, it's a, right now it's appointment only at Anderton's, but, you know, hey, that, that'll pass hopefully soon. Um, and Rosewood Board, as we said, Heavy Relic again. Uh, and then the pickup set, and this, this was an inspired decision by Pete here. We, we, we were talking about all the great custom shop guitars that had come in and, and the one that had lodged in his mind was a, a guitar called a Mischief Maker yeah. that we'd had from Fender, which had a, quite a, an unusual sort of almost, not, it's not a mismatched set of pickups, but they're all different era pickups, yeah, it's like a Texas, uh, it's a Texas special, special in a 60 something or yeah. other. Anyway, it was the Mischief Maker set and they were just like, well, we can, yeah, put, We'll, we'll, we'll wind those and run those again for you if you want yep. to. So we're like, cool. John English carved neck, Mischief Maker uh, set of pickups, heavy relic, light ash bodies. Um, of course it had to be purple. Okay, I'm in tune. And Pete has just uh, jumped on our website to remind <coughs> us of this pickup set. So the, the Mischief Maker is Texas Special here, mm -hmm. reverse round 65 here, uh -huh. 69 here. Uh -huh. 69 okay. here and 69 there. That no the idea. Put a well, I said we cannot claim the credit for putting that together. That was on the Mischief Maker guitar that we just thought sounded cool. So if I go through the... <laughs> must be psychosomatic, but I literally thought I heard like a, a, a univibe kind of uh, sound going on on that. That's sound. your... That's I the... don't have one. I'm making all that up. Okay. There's uh, a liquid. Your brain is sitting in some liquid and it's just wobbling around. Neck and, neck and middle. Middle. It's a great sounding pickup. Uh, a middle and bridge. Bridge. <laughs> Woo! Texas Special, if you don't know, was the pickup. Uh, actually, you know what? I've got a feeling it was one of those ones where the design started with Stevie Ray and then he passed away before they finished the kind of the, the design I thing. But it was like a, a hotter wound single coil. It's what's used in, in the Stevie Ray uh, signature hotter guitars. Wounds. Yep. Uh, Texas Special, like the hottest, like the pickup, light speed, go. Hello. Is it, 
you can really hear when you flip to that neck pickup that it's not where that the bridge is wound hotter, you know. <laughs> More mellow. I, I love this guitar. Yeah. I love, love, love these guitars. Love, 50, love, love, the fifty nine is a, is an odd one. It's not, it's not a guitar that you that you immediately you know when when people talk about those you know vintage era guitars you you know people talk about 54, 57, 62. Yeah, not never fifty nine. Fifty nine, I just think is such a great. That's I mean, the Les Paul thing. Isn't the fit? So the fifty nine's got the slab rosewood board before it went to the um, mm. you know like the veneer style yeah. rosewood board yeah well, i think what do they call that it, uh it's it's huh? yeah what do they call it when it's goes with the radius of the neck is that the veneer board rather than the slab board isn't it i can't remember what, can't remember you know somebody will know you know, you know what, what he's talking, talking about. about i don't know what he's talking um, about after time so and again <laughs> we will uh during the course of a normal year have you know different colors of these arriving at different times and yeah. stuff and of course by the way if you're going oh my goodness me that's the one up the 59 or whichever yeah but my favourite colour is neon, you know, whatever. Or, or you're boom. left handed. Yeah, or you're left handed. People or, say, why have you got any left handed stuff? You don't like relic guitars, but you'd like to order one in a non relic finish. We can do all that for you. Yeah, you can. But then remember, the first time you scratch it, you're going to cry for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, so this next one is the 64, uh, which is built, uh, based on that. Guitar there. We had one of the Fender's master builders look at that and said, "This is that, and this is this." And this is Pete's that. sixty. This is Pete's guitar, which is kind of from here <laughs> to here. It's genuine sixty-four. <laughs> from from here to here, nobody knows. What it we're is. not sure, <laughs> uh, but it's a great guitar yeah. nonetheless. So the the this is an, a lightweight older body. So it's still it's quite light. It's got uh, maple neck. It's got the dark rosewood board. I think they, be, they call that like AAA when it's dark rosewood because you can get them in different shades, I believe. Uh, it's got a, this, the closest set we could get on these are the 65 pickups because that's the transition logo, as you see here, before they changed it from the spaghetti logo to this. And it's kind of a transition period between 64 and 65 when CBS took over. Um, Fender, uh, and that's why lots of people don't want any 65s because they are, you know, they just want the the pre CBS. Like, oh, yeah, they're actually better now than they ever have been. But yeah, so that's that's uh, that's that. Uh, but we gone for the for the for a nine and a half inch radius, so it's not seven um, and a quarter. We've gone for modern wiring, so five for select 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 the switch, and the you know when you're on the back pickup. That's the tone, so it's called modern wiring in there. Uh, and it just sounds great. These two together. Middle pick up, it is. Uh, DP40, everything on 12, uh, apart from the master. And I don't the, even know why you bother having tone controls on your amplifier, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, just make one with like volume. Just volume. And, and master and yeah. volume and then yeah. reverb. And reverb. That would be great, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, it's like then, Brian May has his like, AC30s <laughs> like that. But I've anyway. seen it because I saw he's got, he had nine, when I did a gig uh, TV show in Germany, he, they came to play Queen and he had nine uh, AC30s lined up, three, three, three. And all of the uh, controls on top are just, there's just a metal bar just, across it. Yeah, it's one, <laughs> so nobody one can touch volume, it. that's the only and one. And I tell it? you, any. it just goes like that. So anyway, uh, position two, uh, these two. It's just a great tone, isn't it? Uh, and the bridge. It's just. And then back to the, uh, we are on here, let's put on some Dane. I just 
one of the weird things where we you'll notice obviously on Pete's guitar here now this isn't from the 60s the body but it's probably 80s right and yet the white scratch plate really hasn't changed color at all despite the, the number of gigs I mean all the screws are rusted to hell but they're kind of the and even the pickup covers and the knobs are starting to, to go off color but the scratch plate isn't yeah and I'm kind of guessing that the the, the type of um, celluloid that is used the type of plastic used for, for um, pick guards from back in the day must have aged differently to more modern plastics and so we've gone for a like a, a guard on there that that's Mint. sort of reflecting the idea of aging yeah. and i want to so show you something because here is a prs silver sky which can't be more than a year old right that, that's not even no that's been here for about three that's been here for about three months you four think months. so yeah four now months. Pete and I are 99.9% .9 sure that when this arrived, the pick guard was the same colour as oh, the knobs and sure. the pickups and the pickup switch. So you can see, even in just a matter of months, the type of plastic that PRS are using on here is obviously more reminiscent to the kind of vintage Fender kind of pick guard plastics they were using because it's already going slightly different yeah. colour. No so it's kind, of, here as kind well. of interesting. I mean, look at look at this. You know, one one is a an actual probably that, 40 year old pick guard and one is like you know a few months old and and you can already see so i mean somebody did tell me that they thought the pick guard was original as well but well, that, on here but yeah well it can't be can it otherwise it would have gone a funny color or, or would it but original from a fender or original from yeah the, original the from, from, the, from the from the original as we say tokai that pete's guess was that the body was a tokai body yeah but, but it's we don't just, know that. that's nobody knows we that. don't know that. anyway let's go to middle position here um <laughs> I need to save that for the next guitar, don't oh. I? Um, and then the, 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 these two together. So we did that in uh, four different colors. Uh, and uh, again, you can, uh, they'll all periodically be in stock, or, or of course you can order your own color, but they we've gone very traditional with those colors yeah. so we've got things like a um olympic white here red fiesta uh, fiesta red, red faded uh, fiesta red vintage white so the more yellowy white sonic blue sonic blue they're the uh, four colors yeah so it's just gone is it sonic more... or daphne blue sonic i think it's daphne. sonic uh, daphne. daphne sonic daphne I'm not sure sonic daphne blue yeah. sonic daphne it's sonic that's do but we should do um, one of these cuz they're more original colors from that era that that was very much trying to just uh, do something now of course the only thing we got wrong with that was it should have had these clay dots in it. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you got wrong was for changing the the dots oh, in the original 60 neck into feel, clay i feel so bad yeah when uh, when this guitar belonged to pete then belonged to me then went back to pete again uh and it was it had pearl dots <laughs> and was missing a dot uh, when I got it and I said to Pete, I, yeah. I don't think the pearl dots are original anyway. So I had them all changed for clay dots. Then we ordered, we had the Fender dude in and he was like, uh, the master video is like, no, that would definitely would have had pearl dots in it. Like, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. But that can be changed back because I think the dots lying, are lying somewhere. I've got Either them. They're in, in the case or somewhere. Office, somewhere. Right, okay, come on. So what's next? Neck pick up. I need to play strats more because it's such it, a big fat sound. Such isn't it? A... You need to it's play just, this one. I can't play it because you've touched it, Lee. Oh, Unfortunately, we've got Corona. We cannot do that right now. I would love to, but some other time. Then what we did was we did the 61. Um, 61s, which, uh, which we don't have now because they're all sold out. Uh, they, they'll be coming back. So the 61 was absolutely based on, we might have some in stock in different colors, but they, um, so of course, in our opinion, the sort of the, 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 the greatest modern Strat player of all time who isn't playing Strats anymore uh, is John Mayer, <laughs> in our opinion, only an opinion. Uh, but we love his tone from, from uh, we love his tone on the PRS just as much as well, but he had, um, 
funnily enough, his, he has a great story about his number one black strat uh, was a relic. You know, it was, ne it was never, it wasn't an original 61 strat. It was a custom shop. Right. So he was a, you know, great, uh, John Mayer was a great ambassador really for Fender custom shop guitars. Cause you know, he would, it wasn't like he had an original 61 and then he said, oh, can you reproduce this please? The, the guitar he fell in love with was, was a custom shop replica. Um, anyway, when uh, John moved to PRS and of course all the, all the kind of the Fender signature John Mayer guitars were finished, we decided that we would have some fun and we would put together a 61 Strat spec as closely as we possibly could to, to his uh, black Strat. And then we'd be a bit cheeky and we'd do it all in all the colors that you can get the yeah. PRS Silver Sky in, or as close as we could. <laughs> With so it's a bit of fun. And stuff. It's a stellar, stellar guitar. We've yeah. done videos in the past and that's called the 61 yeah. Strat. Uh, and we don't have any here, unfortunately. Do, you want to do the bluey just quickly before okay, you the, the bluey. Because the, 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 the bluey, in fairness, this is a shame really, because we literally featured this guitar. This is a new <sighs> telly for us. We featured this about two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, and the blue one, which, which oh. should have arrived with the silver and the green one, uh, just didn't. It was like two weeks later for some reason. So this is the same guitar as you've seen in the silver and the green. Uh, if you want details on those, probably easier to just go and watch the, the, the video we did on that before. But the blue sparkle, man, this is uh, the blue sparkle was a bit dearer because there's an upcharge on, on doing that finish. So this is a little bit more expensive than the silver or the green one. Uh, yeah, but man alive. Yeah, this is just a gorgeous double bound. Um, is this is ash, isn't it? Is this yep. an ash body maple neck? This is definitely quarter song because that would be the same as uh, per my purple. Uh, and I love the taint, taint, not taint. I love the taint, tint. The tint. The tint. <laughs> yeah, love the you tint. love the taint as well, but in this instance, it's the taint. I love the tint. <laughs> You got me doing it. What he means the is that the, the color that they get the uh, maple to go to to resemble yeah, again, the you know, the fifty years of being in smoky, dirty pubs. Sorry, yeah. So, um, and this is not over the top relic. I mean, this is and this is really good because the the lacquer, of course, on this is much thicker. So, but it looks just great. Um, bit of buckle rash there, and right now, and then it's got the TV Jones pickups in, which we found out. <laughs> It's a Fats, great like, pickup for a telly because it's yeah. not. If you put normal humbuckers in a Telecaster, you completely change the character of the guitar. It loses the top end. It becomes much more powerful, almost overpowering, and much more like a Gibson. Yeah. Uh, if you put Filtertrons in it, which are humbuckers, but then they don't TV have Jones. the output. Sorry, TV Jones. They don't have the output of a of a, an old PAF, uh, and they have a bit more brightness and a little bit less bass end. So it's almost. Then the middle are of a single coil and a Almost humbucker. suits a telly, doesn't it? Yeah. And you've got a more of a hardtail strap bridge on there. Yes, so it's a, yeah, uh, exactly. But still strung through the body. Yep. Much less output in the front neck pickup, but for some reason it's more mellow. Such a good looking guitar. And of course, it's incredible. Whatever, whichever ones of these you're going, oh, yeah, whatever I like you that, want. Or da, 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 but you know, I'd rather it was in a different color or a bit less Left relic or whatever. If you kind of like the, you can even on the relic thing, if you spec this up, you can go heavy relic on the neck if you want to and make the body a much lighter relic. Yeah. I mean, for, for or you me, can go lighter relic there. No way. For me, that it's the heavy relic on the neck that gives it that instant sense of just like, oh yeah, I love this guitar. Yeah. But, um, so, Stevie Ray, uh, as Fender says, if there was a Mount Rushmore of guitars and guitar players, he would definitely be on there. Who would the other three be then? 
That's a shout. I mean, that, that would probably does be it have like, to be would it be just, like ten? <laughs> does it just have to be if Fender were to actually carve it? So they have to be a Fender player, yeah, an iconic Fender player, and it's Mount Rushmore. So you got Hendrix? four faces. Oh, of course, Stevie. Oh, this is going to be. This is subjective and it's next so to subject, impossible. You can't to, do to you have... do you put? Do you go from the fifties? So like a, a Buddy Holly or Buddy, a Hank Marvin, Marvin or a... Actually, I'm not sure Hank was 50s, playing 60s, Fender 70s. In, the, in the 50s. I think, he was, I think that was a bit later, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, he was Burns, wasn't he, or something? Burns. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, man, it's, that's just not Maybe easy, I wouldn't know. Probably not. Jimmy, Jim, Jimmy and Stevie. Eric? Yes. That I would say, maybe, yes. But he was Gibson <laughs> first, wasn't he? Was he the, like... It's true. It, yeah, but he was... Yeah, he's, he's pretty... 50-50, isn't he, between his Gibsons and Fenders? Maybe a little bit more Fender. Than it's a good question to put out there because it's really subjective. So why what would you, you call it? You wouldn't call it Mount Rushmore. You'd call it Mount Stratmore. <laughs> so that would be a Strat player and then a you'd have Mount Tellymore. Yeah. <laughs> so Mount Stratmore would be Jimmy, Stevie... Um, Do you want Clapton? I mean, if you say Eric and then you can kind of just gloss over Eric whether Johnson, or not it's Johnson you got, or yeah, Clapton. You, got... you could have like half of Johnson and half of Clapton's face and just say that was Eric. And then you have Jeff Beck. Beck... I mean, it's not easy. That's not, not an easy, easy one. is it? Mount Stratmore. There Mount is. Stratmore. If there is a meme, we need a meme. Then you got body. Uh, need a um, meme. Body Mount... guy. You've got. You know, there's, there's. Yeah, I don't know if I'd put Robert any... Cray. Yeah, I mean, great players, great, great players, but whether or not they'd make it onto Mount Rushmore. And they could. Mount I mean... Stratmore. I want that. I need. I think we should. I want to do that. Somebody needs to do Mount the Stratmore. Mural. Mount Tellymore. Mount Lesmore. Mount Lesmore. That <laughs> might not be the great. <laughs> Mount Paul Moore. Um, you have to have Les Paul up there, haven't you? <sighs> Jimmy, Mark, Stevie. 335 more. Is John, would John Mayer be on? Nah, he's, too young. He's, too, he's too He's too recent. young. That's Do you have to be dead to be on Mount Stratmore? Because then that then I mean, at least narrows it down a bit, doesn't out. it? Yeah. Clapton's out. Yeah, you probably have to be dead, haven't you? Oof. Buddy Holly. Man. Anyway, we digress, Lee. This is... Um, a custom shop relic version of uh, Stevie's guitar, basically. So with the gold hardware, and that I, was that was number one, right? Yeah. So that that I think that's you know John Mayer has got a tattoo of this on his arm. He has. He has on that picture. Absolutely. So he's such a big and fan. On his and other I think that's where he got the heart. His other arm, he's got DP. <laughs> SRV one side, DP on the other. Gold hardware. Um, this is a rift sawn maple neck. I don't right. know what rift sawn is. It's where it's how it's cut against yeah, the grain. But it's not it's not quarter sawn and it's not so this is a rift sawn maple neck and it says this rosewood board and I know that uh, he had um Paul Ferro on his guitars in the past. Yeah, I don't whether know, on, certainly on some of the signature series, again after he passed away, the like the regular American signature series were Pal Ferro boards. We've put rosewood in the spec, and it's. Yeah. I think that and it looks like is rosewood. Palfero is slightly lighter and a, it's bit, a bit more redder, hairy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. you can actually. Uh, it's funny because Palfero to me feels a bit hairy. A bit hairy. Yeah, it's, it, it's almost like it got. It's like it's almost. It's got like. It's like hairs on. Anyway, um, Texas special Specials. pickup set here, five way, and the most. The left-handed, left-handed uh, bridge, bridge and trem system, trem which system. is kind of cool. Very, and that I think that almost comes from like a Hendrix thing, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, you know, it where must obviously be. Hendrix would have had a back-to-front trem system because yeah. he played the guitars upside down. It rings. Uh, this is has got tens on it, I think, not thirteens, and it's tuned to a normal tuning. So. Is it? Well, it's yeah. Just, they've so. Blown that kind of um, thing. Oh. The, He's another guitar. Although although he was alive, um, we were alive at the same time. I didn't really get into the guitar until after he died, and it's another one of those. You know, I think some people say like, if if you could have a time machine, where would you go? And 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 I, and I you know, I'd, I'm sure you want to go Jeff back Festival. and see dinosaurs and shit like that. But yeah, I kind of like. I would dinosaurs. love to have seen Hendrix play live, and I would love to have seen Stevie Ray play live, and the Beatles play live. Flesh. I would like to see the Beatles. Yeah, I, do you know what? The only thing I know about that is when people say that when they did go and see the Beatles play live, you couldn't hear them over the yeah, crowd screaming. screaming girls, <laughs> so I'm not yeah. sure whether or not that would have been quite such a blast. But yeah. Well, anyway, they're a good song. Stevie. So anyway, so that's the that's the. Uh... 
super duper hot. Uh, neck and uh, middle. <laughs> Was so that he, sounds good. Was he a player that I've probably not really studied how he got his tone um, as much as I should, but was he a volume on 10 but then pick softer or was he a little volume on 8? I'm not sure how, how he did all that. I just know it was loud. Yeah. I know it was like just dumb big, and high big, headroom amplifiers. High, 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 and as loud as mm. with the tube screamer, you know. Uh, middle position. It's the middle position. Uh, these two together. And that's probably where you get the... You know what I mean? That's that's where that comes on. Uh, and the bridge. Oh, it's, they're hot, these pickups, man. That feels like if you haven't got some sort of basement or something or or it just needs to be super loud yeah to jahibas yeah you're never going to get that kind of and you can't play like him i can't play like him i'm not even going to try to play like him because what's the point he was him i can mm. only be the best me he's a confident I, I love i love the confidence of basically going yeah i'm going to have my initials on the scratch plate and my initials on the strap and a massive cowboy hat and i'm going to come out and play blues he had that do you remember he was wearing a, he had this indian um head baguette and they went all the way down as well and he's just you know I tell you what, on Gibson's Instagram page, Gibson. they Gibson, they posted a picture of him with a flying V I saw the other day. Yeah, he can play Which, whatever uh, he wants. He's he a legend. Whatever he uh, wants. Here is a bit of uh, Dane. Taylor when you need and him. It, right? And it's literally, imagine playing <laughs> with the, that level of intensity for, uh, for like two hours, you know. It's just incredible. And I mean, this action is a little bit high, but... That's how he'd want but it. But that's how he would have it. You I'm not doing it justice. <laughs> Stevie Ray would have approved of the whole relic thing. I know. I know. Oh, yeah, we yeah. I know. We can't say that, you know, with any uh, certainty because he's not here to ask. But I'm sure you look at how he approached guitar playing. He, he had no time for going. Oh, I hope I don't scratch this. He was just like full, full on, full fat, all the time. No, full I'm going to listen, listen to Stevie Ray on the way home. Really, yeah, I really think loud. I'm going to put some Stevie Ray on as well because there's just no doing it justice. There really isn't. All these big players, you know, all the kings and all of these guys, it's just Hendrix, just, you know, it's just mm. I'll tell you what there is coming soon, which I think got announced today or yesterday. And speaking of, of uh, I know he probably hates to be called, you know, like a, a modern uh, Stevie Ray, but Kenny Wayne Shepherd's I got saw a new that, yeah. Kenny Wayne is out. good as well, yeah. He's a great player. He is. And actually, let's be honest with you, how cool is it sitting in your garage with your great big... S big supercars and super cars, Hellcats you know, and all sorts of stuff uh, and then the guitar. Uh, <laughs> like that man I that just need to get into wicked. it a bit more I've caught my finger as well I've got super glue oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I sorry we should do another <laughs> video where I'm getting all sweaty as well I want to get um, do you remember that Vibra King video we did where oh. it was like that we should get one of those one of these guitars tuned down to E flat some slightly heavier strings on it and just 
crank to Jahiba as an old amp and, and do another video just because we can and we'll even get paid for doing it. <laughs> Will we? Well, <laughs> well, we've tuned to E flat. We shall jam out now. Uh, I shall just simply try play some terrible 12 bar rhythm whilst Pete uh, hopefully tries to uh, channel his <laughs> inner Stevie. Play some terrible Stevie. Uh, yeah. And actually, while we were tuning up, Pete came up with exactly a great addition to the uh, Mount Stratmore. Because, uh, of course, if we have Richie Blackmore, it could be Mount Blackmore. And he did play Strats. So, anyway. Thank <laughs> you.